Hello YouTube, welcome one and all, and welcome back to Heart of Iron Fall. Why am I doing this? After last week and the week before, why am I doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing this. We're going to be going once again back into the Gavin Storm in Gen 1st of January 1936. That's the scenario. We're going to be... Let's have a look. Okay, so I want to be in once again in the Bowflins. So we got Chocolates of Vapia, who are pretty much... Probably royally screwed. Hungary is in. Oh, that was such a. What we're going to be is we are going to be. We are going to be Romania. <laughs> Neutral foreign policy. Uh, your lifestyle. Unless he's shown the error of his ways. No, oh, wait, that's fine. So anyway, we're going to be off. We're going to be uh, Romania, and I'm going to basically make it my mission to wipe Italy off the face of the, the earth. That is my mission. That is my goal. It will happen. But anyway, the brief history: Romania found herself on the winning side of the Great War, and as a result, gained new territories and people, not all of whom were Romanians. To guard against the revanchist desires of the countries that were forced to cede land, Romania has created a web of alliances all across the Balkans. In recent years, however, the country has concerned itself mostly with domestic matters, and the government of King Carol II has allowed these alliances to lapse. As the political situation in Europe changes, Romania may well find herself standing alone and vulnerable. So we are going to be the Kingdom of Romania. At this precise moment in time, they are non-aligned. They have the ruling part of the FRN. Next election is in January, in December 1937, and it has a lot of stuff. So, generate more gold tension limit. Join faction tension limit. Jesus, that's again the the neutrality stuff, isn't it? So, we're going to be Romania. Let's start. Let's get this party started. So, we have research available. We are in 1936. We always start with those. That's nice. Support weapons. Oh, we start with uh, mechanization as well. And mountaineers. Interesting. We get that. We're going to get a doctrine. So, so if you, let's have a look. I have a feeling we'll probably be going up against the, uh, the Germans. So, what we got? Grand battle plan, prepared defences, grand assault. I'm wondering if going for mobile doctrine, probably not good. Mass assault, I don't think we're going to have the manpower to do that. So it's down down between superior, superior firepower or the grand battle plan. And I'm going to go with grand battle plan. And we are going to... get you. Okay, we have three civilian factories. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to build... Let's hope. How many civilian factories have we got? we got 13, so I think we should really build a whole bunch of them. I'm going to... That. There you go. Military, military, military. So, right. 
Unassigned Unassigned divisions. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Right. Let's have a look at your focus tree, shall we? Industry World Dictatorship. Expand the Air Force. Army maneuvers. Expand the shipyards. Right. Okay, so let's have a look. A deal with the devil. Basic rights for the Soviet Union. Join the common term. Ooh. A deal with the devil. Is that we're at peace with the Soviet Union? The Soviet Union is fully independent. Okay, that's nice. Goodwill with you, Romania, Polish alliance, Cardone, so that's it. Demand, the Western guarantee. This is ally stuff. That's the Axis stuff. And that is the... I think we're going to go straight into this. Right, we have three military, to, uh, so we need as many of those. Many of those for now. We're already making total artillery, we're already making light tanks, and we're making submarines! Very nice! We need steel. Who can give us steel? The Soviet Union can. Uh, So there's that. We need some tungsten. Portugal's going to need it. Uh, Portugal? Yeah. Oh. Insufficient. Uh, uh, we'll need to give that a tick. We've got a low manpower. That's fine. But now. Uh, well, because we've got the volunteer on We've got limited conscription. I think what we want to do will be... I mean, communist revolutionary, which will give us uh, communist support. I'm in the this. meantime, the destroyers. Do we have an admiral? We do. <laughs> Lovely. You are going to go convoy ready, convoy escort. You're just going to patrol the black. Oh. Mm. There we go. You can patrol the Black Sea. Congratulations. You guys are all going to be obviously we're gonna rename you to the Romanian theatre because that is what we are at the moment. All 31 troops. There we go. Uh Field Marshal. Ooh, actually. Actually get him. Or donuts. Just double check what the other guy was. Oh, well, that's that's good. Right, so we got a couple of generals. Now we have a field marshal. So lovely. Right, you. Or donuts. We're gonna get a front line. Oh. We're gonna edit that front line. Uh, that was silly. There we go. And I'm going to give you Spearhead to Budapest. There we go. Right. We don't have anything else. We've got low manpower. We've got insufficient resources. We're going to start. There we go. We now do not have insufficient resources. We can recruit and deploy. So, what we got? It's nine divisions there. That's nice. Six divisions there. I think once you guys get into position, we will start training. Actually, no, we can start Attention. training now. And cure some XP. We will need to make planes. What we got? We got the interwar fighter. So we'll do that. Uh, get you all like that. There we go. So we're only making 80 a year at the moment. But we need to make some fighters. 
And with a lot of manpower so low, we are not going to produce any heat at this moment. We could actually train some tank divisions. There you go. Two tank, two move, and otherwise infantry. Okay, so production. We need motorized eventually. King's mistress purchased Villa. Magda Lupiscu, mistress of King Carol II, has reportedly purchased a new villa in an expensive suburb of Bucharest. How could she afford it? Was, how could she afford it? Was subject to extensive speculation. New evidence in foreign newspapers strongly suggests that the king himself authorized the purchase with government money. The scandal is spiraling, and we must make a public announcement on the matter as soon as possible. So that would give us a supplementary budget, which grants community goods factories 20% for 90 days, or minus 20. Okay, so now we'll just lose his political power, which we only have three of. Worried about that. Okay, let's go. Everyone, head up to the front line. We're getting attrition here. And that's because we are actually training them. Hungry, what are you doing? Which way are you going? Economic intervention. Where is that? So, potentially. Oh, so you're going to potentially go straight into fascists or cancel the people commissars. Which is fine. We just need to speed up. We only have uh, two factories in use. We are building more civilian factories. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're using a lot of civilian factories for our trade. So what have we got? What are we short of? We have plus ten convoys. We have no fighters. We are short on light tanks, short on support equipment, short on motorized division. Uh, division uh, units. Very short on that. A little short on that. That's fine. And we are just holding on. Congre should not pose as much of a threat because we saw on the last playthrough, through little through even. That um, there's not a lot of uh... so yeah, it's 150 points. So in 150 days, how we do research-wise? It's fine. Yeah, one peasant militia. That's a one percent manpower increase. And they just go straight down here, straight to the join the common term. But we have three dockyards. Uh, yes. Um... Oh, you were just building the one, right? Uh. Get me. Is that the oil? No, that's the rubber. Yeah, we're using 12. Is that because of free trade? Or is that because of the. Export. Civilian economy. Ah! Uh, wait. Oh! 
The Spanish Civil War. A civil war has erupted in Spain. Several generals seeking to overthrow the current government in Madrid have issued a pronunciation. Uh, I can never pronounce these words right. And a large portion of the Spanish armed forces have answered their call to arms. This right wing nationalist faction has occupied much of Spain, including the overseas territories. Loyalist forces and volunteers have assembled under the left wing Republican government, determined to resist the putsch in their last to their last breath. The battle for Spain has begun. What will this mean? Nationalist Spain has declared war. <laughs> Part of me is slightly interested in like, could I be Republic of Spain and survive? I'm slightly interested. Okay, so we got arm experience. Is it five to edit? Right, you got artillery. I really want my ten. Right, okay. So we need ten. So let's keep training until then. Oh, that's going to be over a year. The remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory, close to the French border, in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles. The local population cheered for the German soldier. I'll start again, shall I? Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory close to the French border, in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles. The local population cheered the German soldiers on, while the diplomatic reactions from France and Britain have so far been muted. It is no more than Germans walking into their own backyard, a political com commentator from Britain observed. Where are you? Preserve Greater Romania. A deal with the devil. There we go. Low manpower, insufficient resources, rubber. We have three dockyards. Just put, do that for now. Again, this is we're going to be training these guys up only that. up till we get to level te uh, ten. It. XP and we can add artillery to our There we go. 1.3 a week. Good. So hmm. Ah, so I've kind of... Maybe I should have took the political power here. We no longer get the FX from the supplementary budget. Okay, so what does that do? There we go, it's gone up to six. Ah, yes, yeah, so it was a negative impact. Good to know. More research. I think we get that as well. There we go. What are you doing? Secret rearmament. Ah. It's not going to help you much, but interesting. <laughs> not a lot of us are at full fighting strength, but we do definitely have the advantage. Just need a little bit more. We'll also be able to turn, uh, start the progress of becoming a uh, communist. Ah, can you, uh, yeah, you know, pretty much, and I don't have the political co uh, power. I'm saving it up. 
I'm going to go uh, to communists as soon as possible. And again, my goal is to basically kick Benito Mussolini's ass for what he did last time. Oh, we got a surplus of uh, motorized. Good. We're getting fighters. We're starting to produce fighters. That's lovely. Construction. Oh, it's September. Lovely. We got fifteen convoys now. Lovely. Trade. What do we need trade wise? We need rubber. Oh! Deal with the devil. There we go. Oh, we have 11. Right. Okay, uh, that'll be it for this video. Again, a slowish start. We do not have airfields. Do not have airfields over here. And I want 100 fighters. There we go. Okay, so while before I finish the video, we will edit the Mountaineers to get support artillery and save. There we go. Thank you everyone for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, toodles.